long will it take to beat Tears of the Kingdom without using weapons? You see, one of the core mechanics of Tears of the Kingdom is fusing items to your weapons to complete shrines and puzzles. So I knew when I started the Great Sky Island that I'd have to do things a little differently. Instead of doing the normal order of shrines, we still did the Ultra Hand Shrine first, but we had to skip fuse because it's impossible without getting a very special item from a cave near the Ascend Shrine. So we headed into the cave, grabbed the very special item, dodged around a couple of like likes, and grabbed a sin. And after we got a sin, we headed back towards Fuse. And hey, if you want to see me continue this speed run down on the surface, be sure to subscribe. Because as we get to Fuse, we can finally complete it with our special item. The Bomb Flower, which allows us to blast through the Fuse Shrine and head back to the Temple of Time, where we obtain the Recall Ability, Fail a Strength Test, and complete one final shrine, which allows us to send the Master Sword back to Zelda. Leaving us at a time of just over an hour and eight minutes, meaning now it's time to dive down to the surface and see 